Statistics and probability are two closely related topics. With statistics, you start with observed data and then make conclusions on how something works. In probability, you start with an assumption about how something works and then decide what type of data you're likely to see. You study each topic separately at school, but in the real world and further study, the two are intertwined. Probability provides the justification for statistics. Curve fitting is the process of fitting functions to bivariate data, which is data with two variables. This allows us to identify the direction and strength of a relationship between two variables. There are different types of functions that can be fitted to data depending on the relationship between the variables. In grade 12, the focus is on fitting linear functions to bivariate data. For linear data, we draw a straight line through the data which best approximates the data points. We call this line the line of best fit or trend line. Once we know the relationship between two variables, we are able to predict values where no data exists. Using interpolation, we can find a value within our data range. Using extrapolation, we can predict a value outside of our set of data points. Given the graph of sales versus temperature, using linear interpolation, we can estimate the sales at 21 degrees Celsius which is a value within the data range to be $480. Using linear extrapolation, we can estimate the sales at 29 degrees Celsius, which is outside the data range, to be $740. Use extrapolation with caution as you can get misleading results. The method of finding a line of best fit just by looking at the data is not very accurate. Different people could fit different lines of best fit for the same data. So we have a more accurate algebraic method of finding the line of best fit, which will always give the same equation for a given data set. Linear regression is a method to find the best fitting straight line through data points. We find the equation of the regression line by using an algebraic method called the least squares method, which is available on scientific calculators. The linear regression equation is written as y hat equals a plus bx or y equals capital A plus capital BX. Of course, these are both variations of the more familiar equation y equals mx plus c. The gradient of the line given by the letter B is given by n times the sum of the product of x and y minus the sum of x times the sum of y, all divided by n times the sum of the squares of the x values minus the sum of all the x values squared. The y-intercept of the line given by the letter A is equal to the mean of the y-values minus B times the mean of the x-values. The least squares method is very simple. We guess what the line of best fit would be, then at every data point find the distance between the data point and the line. If the line fitted the data perfectly, this distance would be zero for all the data points. The worse the fit, the bigger the difference will be. We then square each of these distances and add them all together. The best fit line is the line that minimizes the sum of the squared distances. The closer the points are to the line, the better the predictions we can make. There are two ways to find the equation of the least squares regression line by hand or using a scientific calculator. Make sure you understand both methods. Example 1. Finding the equation of the least squares regression line by hand. A survey was conducted to show the number of bees that visited flowers over a 12-day period. The information is shown in the table. 1.1 1 
write down the coordinates of the outlier. 1.2. Calculate an equation for the least squares regression line for the data. An outlier is a value that does not fit with the other values in a data set. It may be much smaller or much larger than most of the data values. The coordinates of the outlier of this data set are 6 and 160. For 1.2, since the instruction is to calculate the equation of the least squares regression line by hand, we will use the formulae we saw earlier to calculate the values of A and B. We set up a table to calculate the values of B and A. X represents the number of flowers and Y is the number of bees that visited the flowers. The third column shows the product of the x and y values and the fourth column shows the x squared values. The last row shows the sums of each of the four columns. Let's look at the second row a little closer. We see that four flowers were visited by 30 bees. The product of x and y is 120 and that goes under xy in column 3. x squared, which is the number of flowers squared, is 16, and that value is shown in column 4. You complete the table row by row, as in row 1, for all 12 days. Once all the values have been entered into the columns, we find the sum of each column. We can calculate the value of B by substituting it into the formula N times the sum of product of X and Y minus the sum of X times the sum of Y, all divided by N times the sum of the squares of the X values minus the sum of all the X values squared. We get B is equal to 12 times 4,666 minus 78 times 754, all divided by 12 times 650 minus 78 squared. This gives us an answer of negative 1.64 for B. To calculate A, you need to work out the mean and the X and Y values by dividing each of their sums by the number of data points, 12. Therefore, A is equal to 754 divided by 12 minus B, which is negative 1,64 times by 78 divided by 12, and that is equal to 73,5. Substituting the values for A and B that we have just worked out, we get the equation of the least squares regression line is y hat equals 73,5 minus 1,64 times x. Example 2. Finding the equation of the least squares regression line using a calculator. 14 learners attended a geometry training course spread over 12 Saturdays. Learners wrote a geometry test at the end of the course. One learner was absent for the test. The number of Saturdays attended and the mark as a percentage each learner obtained for the test are shown in the table. Calculate the equation of the least squares regression line using your calculator. We're going to use the Casio FX82ZA Plus calculator to work out the equation of the regression line. Make sure you learn the steps that are specific to your scientific calculator. Step 1. Get your calculator ready. Switch on the calculator, press the Mode button, and then select Stat by pressing Option 2. The following screen will appear. Select 2, the A plus BX option for linear regression. Your screen will look like this. Step 2, enter the data. Press 96, and then the Equals button, to enter the first mark under X. Then enter the other values in the same way. For the X variable, the geometry marks in the order in which they are given in the data set. Then move the cursor across and up and enter 12 under Y. The number of Saturdays 
opposite 96 in the X column. Continue to enter the other Y values in order so that they pair off correctly with the corresponding X values. Then press the AC button. The screen clears, but the data remains stored. Now press Shift 1 to get the Stats Computations screen shown and the values of the unknown variables for your regression line. Choose Regression by selecting 5, the option that shows the first three letters of the word Regression. Step 3. Getting regression values from the calculator. Select option 1 and then Equals to get the value of the y-intercept and that's equal to 22,262, and so on. Finally, to get the slope B, use the following key sequence. Shift, 1, 5, 2, and equals. The calculator gives B equals 5,9, rounding up to one decimal place. The equation of the line of regression is thus y hat equals 5,9x, plus 22,3. Practice using your calculator to find the equation in the line of regression.